Whit Deschner and I've lived with Parkinson's disease now for 14 years. This is Carbidopa Levodopa. I take this three times a day, one and a half tablets. And I'm looking for an alternative that doesn't have side effects. Hi, I'm Tanya Denny. I am seeking funding to study the plant Mucuna pyrenez, which is an alternative treatment to Parkinson's disease in India. I propose to do field research in conjunction with JSS College of Pharmacy in Udi, India. Udi is in southwestern India where they've been growing this plant Mucuna since 300 BC for the treatment of Parkinson's disease. I'll be working with tribes to cultivate the Mucuna plant and bring samples back to the lab to analyze for levodopa content. This would be a really great project for uh, a research assistant to pursue, and the fact is that Tanya's got the passion to want to pursue it, and uh, the idea is to try to raise the funds, obviously, to be able to do it, and uh, that's the most difficult part, because federal funding is uh, very limited, it's tough to get, and uh, whatever funds can, can be raised for, I think, uh, a very interesting project that may end up changing uh, the course of in which uh, Parkinson's is treated is well worthwhile. I met Tanya a couple of summers ago when she knocked on my door and asked if she could do some research studies on Mucuna. And I was very impressed because she had actually taken the trouble to look up uh, about this herb called Mucuna pruriens and she knew all about its use for, pru for Parkinson's disease and she had real fire in her about wanting to study this herb further. While in India we will use the actual plant samples and we will test for the levodopa concentration in the seed samples. Parkinson's disease affects people in many different ways and I, I would hope that this offers hope or a solution to some of those ways. We're right on the verge of advancing and I think this is a tremendous opportunity for us to take that leap. Tanya's research, what she's doing. Mucuna, the plant also works to treat the symptoms, but it also may have the potential to treat the underlying cause of Parkinson's disease. As a pre-med student, I would like to offer Parkinson's patients hope that there could be a new treatment with reduced side effects. What Tanya is offering is a lot of hope. I used to be quite active, and I still believe I can be. It's um, you, you just don't want to give up on life. And this is a viable alternative that she's offering.